This recording is provided by Times Square Church in New York City. You're welcome to make additional copies for free distribution to friends. All other unauthorized duplication or electronic transmission is a violation of copyright and other applicable laws. This recording cannot be posted on any website. However, written permission to link to the Times Square Church homepage may be requested by emailing info at timesquarechurch.org. Other recordings are available by calling 1-800-488-0854 or by writing to Times Square Church Tape Ministry, 1657 Broadway, New York, New York, 10019. Bless the word as I, I preach your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. My, te- my text, my message I'm calling today, the ultimate test of faith. The ultimate test of faith. In Exodus, you have the story of the children of Israel. The children of Israel, the scripture said, walked through dry ground in the midst of the sea. When came, God, they said, just the breath of his nostrils, I think that's in Psalm. God just, through the breath of his nostrils, blew the wind, and the seas piled up. They, the waters literally congealed on both sides, and they marched through this wall of water on dry ground, over across the other side. They began to dance and sing. The scripture says they shouted, The Lord is our strength. He's a man of war, great in excellence. Lord, who is like unto you? You've done wonders guiding us. You will bring us into the land now. Lord, you will reign forever. That's quite a testimony. They've seen a miracle and God has brought them out. Now, God always brings you out to bring you in. There's a divine purpose in Him bringing you. There's a reason why He saved you. It's a reason why you're here this morning. They shouted just like we do. We've seen a great miracle. You've seen a great miracle in your life when the Lord saved you. When the Holy Spirit came and dealt with you about your sins. And about what he could do in changing your home and your life. They danced, the scripture says. But three days later, they were thirsty. There was no water. The Bible says they began to complain. We found no water. What should we drink? They chided Moses, saying our fathers. And and Psalms 106 says, our fathers understood not the wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of your blessings and mercies. But they provoked him at the sea. And it says, even at the Red Sea. You know what the, it's like, the Bible is saying, can you believe this? Can you believe a people who have just seen one of the greatest miracles ever seen by mankind? And they just dance and sing and praise the Lord. And three days later, in a, in a test of faith, they fail. And, and they, they are saying, in, in essence, where is our God? Is God with us or isn't he? And beginning to question the very presence of God after this miracle. And they provoked him at the sea, even the Red Sea. When I read that, I said, Lord, how many of us have been delivered? How many of us have been brought to a test of faith? And that's what it was. It was simple test of faith. That tree was there. God knew what he was going to do. God had an answer. He had a plan. In spite of their continual murmuring, the Lord gave them manna. Because they began to say, we have no bread. He poured manna from heaven. They said, we want meat. He gave them quails. Quails came three feet high, just a mile from the camp. All around them. God just, just swirled a wind in and brought all of this. And the Bible said they ate it till it came out their nostrils. Is God among us or not? Psalms 106.44, they ask, is God among us? Oh yes, he opened the rock and the waters gushed out. They ran into dry places like a river. See, the Bible says God allowed them to hunger and thirst. Ten times God tested this people on this side of the Jordan River. The Jordan River is the crossing into the promised land. And ten times God said, you provoked me. Over and over again, I'm just trying to find a people who will trust me. I am looking for faith. I'm going to take you into land where you're going to need absolute confidence in me and my word. And I'm going to have to take you through this trial because, friends, and I want you to know this even though you know it, let me remind you. 
There is no way that God can produce faith in us except through testings. The only way, there is no other way known to mankind or even the heavens where God can build till he takes you in, the, in, in some time in a fire or a testing period. That is how it is birthed. That is how it grows from test to test until God sees that he finally has a people who can be a testimony to the world that no matter what happens, and he's always testing us out of love. It's not the wrath of God whom the Lord loves he chastens. But God is looking for faith in his people. I don't care if you pray ten hours a day. I don't care if you read this Bible through three times a year. I don't care how much you weep before the Lord. If you don't have faith in your time of trial, if you don't have faith and you begin to uh, fret and worry and murmur and complain and the world looks at you, you've lost your testimony. You've lost your purpose of being. You've lost the very reason why God called you and changed you. We come, they come then to a place called Kadesh. It's this side of the river Jordan. And that and right across they can see the promised land. The place of rest. And there over the hills is Jericho. One of the great walled cities. And because they, they wanted to know what was going to happen over there, they sent 12 spies. Now I know the Bible says in one scripture, at the command of the Lord. But this, God commanded because he knew they wouldn't go in unless they had their spies. Because God really wanted them to just trust his word. He would already promised them that no enemy could stand against them. He had already promised them, I'll be with you. I'll send hornets to fight the enemy. No weapon formed against you shall prevail against you. I am going to take your battles in my hands and I'm going to take your warfare into my hands. Go, go into the promised land. You know the story, they send 12 spies, spent 40 days in Jericho, I mean in, in the promised land. And they brought back the fruits of the land, loaded with all the fruits and the blessing. And 10 of the spies, remember, bring this evil report. They say, yes, it's everything God said it was. It's a wonderful place. It's like heaven. But forget it. Because there are giants there. And there are cities walled up to the heavens. Now, if you want to talk about exaggeration of the devil and his lies. Up to heaven? And, and those giants, we're like grasshoppers. They're ready to squash us. We are not strong enough. We are not able. We cannot go up. They bring this evil report into the land. God knew that they didn't have faith. Yes, it is a good land, but we are not able, it says. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried, and they wept all night. See them in their tents, wringing their hands, what do we do now? Has that ever happened in your life recently? After test after